Okay guys, so Singapore is 200 years old of age so we are going to do some history about Singapore many years ago. Come on, let's go! Okay guys, so in this first episode, I am going to talk about Singapore in 1819. Okay guys, so in this series, right, I'm going to tell you who founded Singapore in 200 years ago. Okay, the person who founded Singapore was Sir Stephen Raffles. So this is how he looked like. This is how Sir Stephen Raffles looked like. Okay. So he was the one who founded Singapore 200 years ago. Yeah, and by the way, Singapore is also 200 years old. Okay, so he, he found um, maybe Singapore, like maybe in the first year he found Singapore. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you a statue of Sang Nila Utama. Okay, it's right here. A Pelam, a Pelam Bang Prince, Sang Utama was said to have arrived in our in our white sandy shores in 1299. Wow, 1299. His vision of a creature led to the founding of a flourishing port city, and and was how we derived our name Singapura, the Lion City. Okay, guys, we're in the exact site where. Sir Stephen Raffles came found Singapore. Okay, it's here. We are at the place where um, um, Sir Stephen Raffles went to 200 years ago. Okay, there's also a statue of him. He's right there. On this historic site, Sir Stephen Raffles first landed in Singapore on the on 28th of January 1819 and with genius and perception changed the destiny of Singapore from an obs obscure um, fishing village to a great seaport and modern metropolis. Okay, so this is Sir Stephen Raffles. See, he's right behind us. Okay guys, so you might be run wondering, right, how did Sir Stephen Raffles come to Singapore? Well, he came by boat. It looks very, very different from the picture and from now. Okay? So, this is how he went to Singapore. He took a boat to come here to, to um, uh, let me tell you what it was. was a fishing village at that time, yeah. right? Yeah. It was a fishing village by the time, but now we've built our life now. No more fishing village now, it's like a city village. Yes, it is. Okay, so now let's explore more of Boat King. Lucky Abdullah set foot in Singapore in 1819 and as in to Sir Stephen Raffles, a gift linguist and the first published local Malay writer. His autobiography gave a direct account of 19th century life in Singapore earning him the title the father of modern Malay literature yeah. in 1819 Nariana Pillai arrived in Singapore starting from scratch to become a successful entrepreneur and a respected community leader with Singapore's growth as an urban settlement he became the island's first Indian building contractor and established the Sri Mariaman the temple. Oops. Another great person who came to Singapore in 1819 was Tang Tok Seng. Tang Tok Seng arrived from Malacca in Singapore in 1819 in search of a better life. With courage and keen judgment, he built up his business but always gave back to the community and his legacy is carried 
on in a temple and hospital that stand to, to this day. Guys, hope you enjoyed this short video of me telling you about Singapore in 1819. And hope you enjoyed this video and hope you like and subscribe and ring the notification so you'll be ready for our next video. See you guys.